So we begin our semester full steam ahead uh, with a lot of work, a lot of things, a lot of learning to do. And well, we have here our first extra credit activity that we have. Uh, it's actually two different options that I'm going to, to present, two different options. One is for uh, formal teams, sorry, for, for teams that were made for a specific activity. The other one is individual. You may take both, you may take one of them, you may take none of them, okay? It's up to you, it's absolutely optional. Uh, but always, as always, extra credit is uh, awarded in uh, the site of um, discovery in the site of uh, learning, in the site of independent learning, yes, and that's what we want to generate. Now, um, I could have designed this, but actually I trusted you to give me the best questions about Mexican history that you could present, yes? So many of you have presented and have put a lot of effort into making some great questions that I'm now going to share with you. So this works like this. This is option number one, okay? Option number one, for uh, extra extra credit. The option number two, I will present it in um, a, a, around the middle of the of the video, which is individual. This one is first, uh, all of these are for the teams that you made. So um, I ask you to present questions about a certain period in Mexican history that was not the one that you were researching. The one you were researching, I'm hoping that you answer those questions in your infographic. Um, so, uh, you, a lot of people made questions about different periods that were not there, that were not the ones they chose, yes? So I got together those questions and this is how it works. Um, let's say somebody made a question about the foreign interventions, yes? Uh, actually, this is questions from all my different groups, so they are all mixed together. So, um, in here, we, uh, have um, the the questions for that uh, for those uh, foreign interventions. If your team decides to take one of those questions and answer them in a part of your infographic, then the teamwork will be awarded extra points. It's important that you tell me in the end when you deliver it uh, if you decided to include this. Okay, so it's important that you think this very well as teams uh, and that you care enough to try to answer the question. Now, the idea is not that you answer it completely with the full truth, but that you make a sincere effort on answering uh, one or more of these questions. Now, I must say, <coughs> since these questions were put in the cards that I gave you all, um, some periods had more questions than others, and some periods had no questions at all. At all. That's a, a, a simple thing that has to do with uh, with the random, yes, uh, way we generate the activity. So in case you're interested in having extra credit because you're good at researching, because you want to answer the questions, I invite you to go forth in this video to get to the individual part, uh, to the individual option of the questions, yes, or of also answering, answering questions, okay? So here I'm going to present you the different options that I selected there. Are some questions I omitted because they were too obvious. A uh, question that appears twice, for example, was, how many years did Porfirio Diaz stay in power? We all know that, yes? And we all should know that. And what we should be interested in is all in the processes that go through, all the historical process that help us, remember, to understand history without manichisms. Second, to learn from history, yes, from its lessons, see what are the lessons. And number three, to, um, to take, yes, and to build uh, our history, um, taking into account, yes, the responsibility we have as Mexicans on building this daily, on daily building this uh, this country, yes, and and therefore accepting our responsibility for the past as well. Okay, so here we go. Some questions in Mexico history. Whose authors are my wonderful and super curious students? So, for have pre-Hispanic Mexico any of the periods? Well, you would divide them according to the period depending on the question. But here we are. So, specific periods, you should know by now which are, which are those, and some are very general things. So we have, how were ancient civilizations uh, able to gather so much knowledge? Why were original people's monuments larger than current ones? Why did they have many deities? 
which pre-Hispanic culture was the most developed? Yes, I, 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 the, the brackets are mine. Yes, just to put that concept into question. Yes, in the national territory. So these are the general ones. Any person, any team that has either the pre-classic, the classic, or the post-classic may answer. These are specific. Where did the Almec civilization go? That would go to the pre, uh, pre-classic um, uh, uh, team. Uh, what happened to the Mayans? Where did they go? Which is something that you, it's a tricky question. It's a very tricky question, but uh, that you can answer in the classic rather. And then you have the, how did the Spanish army defeat the Mexicas? Okay. So you have there an, an interesting option and, and, and watch out for this mark here with, when we say Spanish army. Okay. And particularly army. Yes. But well, I'm trying to respect the, the actual way we make the questions. Yes. So that you get a chance and actually challenging uh, these different questions that are that I've put forth. Um, I, don't, I didn't put the name, sorry, of the people that made the questions because I really don't know if you whether you would be flattered or, or embarrassed by, by that. So uh, in order to put all of the questions that were possible, that's what I uh, here uh, included. Okay. Colonial Mexico, again, brackets, intentional brackets. Is there any rumor about a different story or version of the conquest? Okay, sorry for the for the um, accent over there. Yes, it has to do with the version of my of my program. In which year was the first peso made or the concept of the peso installed? It's something I think you can very well research. And finally, where was the idea of Mexico born? Not Mexicas born, but the idea of Mexico itself born as being something of a national identity. That idea. Then we move on to the. We have four possible questions. Number one, why did Mexico take so long to become independent from Spain? In there, we are talking about Spain by the end of the colonial uh, period. Did Hidalgo pretend the independence of Mexico when he began to fight? You will have to be very precise on that. What did the military eat when they were at war? Yes. And which was Miguel Hidalgo's favorite kind of alcohol? So, interesting question over there. And I am sure I have seen one or two references that I can actually see. That, well, that's fine. Then we jump the whole 19th century. There were no questions about the 19th century, even though I am certain there are a lot of gray areas in the 19th century of our own history from which we could learn a lot. But well, we will do that in class. Two questions. Why didn't people like Porfirio Diaz if he was doing a lot of improvements to the country? Important question that you actually have to answer very very skillfully and actually very severely and to be very close to the to the truth yes then why was Porfirio Diaz a lot of time in power how was Porfirio Diaz able to remain in power for so long this is two versions of the same kind we move on to solution why did the economy of the country change a lot it really transformed overall was corruption as strong and powerful during the Mexican Revolution which were the priorities in a common person's life back then, and why were the Bucarelli Accords established? Yes. Then, no decades on the 20s, 30s, um, Mexico doing during World War II, and how did Mexico get involved in World War II? Yes, all together. So, in this team, um, sorry, in this team um, um, options that you have. Yes, um, so you can you can choose and, and try to, to to the best of your knowledge, to the best of your research capacity, try to venture an answer on that. OK, try to always confirm with your sources. You have very good books, uh, recommended sources. Yes, the one I, rec uh, I recommend from Colmex is one of the one in which you can find a lot of smaller details, but mainly um, a coherent process on understanding history, Mexican history, uh, other than the explanation of uh, villains and uh, and heroes. Okay, then here we go with individual extra credit. So uh, this is how the individual is going to work. There are many questions. I tried to divide them into three different categories that um, that are going to be here separated by each slide. Um, these are questions that have to do with many different things, with many general aspects of Mexican history, with many general aspects of understanding Mexico, so that they don't correspond to a specific historical period, or at least to a specific way we divide it 
the study of Mexican history to, to, to cover it. Therefore, uh, what happens if you want to uh, put an emphasis, sorry, sorry, to take one of these questions. So the idea is this, if you want to get extra credit, you have to select one of these questions, any of the questions. Once you have selected it, you have to, in our Facebook group, right, right under the, where the teacher posted the link to this video, you must put which question you are taking. You must write it. Yes, so to know that that question is yours and it's nobody else's. Nobody else can take that question. So you must be the first. And then you um, will make a small two paragraph, perhaps no more than three paragraphs between two and three paragraphs, very small. I'm not, I'm not searching for an essay. I'm trying that you actually give us your thoughts on that matter. Many of these are reflexive questions. Many of the questions presented are things that have to do with wondering a lot about uh, Mexican identity, about our encounter with the past, about the, the glories of Mexico and about the worst times it has had. Therefore, you will have to venture and answer many times with a uh, little more than a few references around. Yes. So individually, you present that and you can give it to me printed. Yes. In a sheet of paper uh, at most by Friday afternoon. OK. And by Friday afternoon, I mean that at most by four o'clock, you must deliver that to me in case you took one of these questions. OK. Again, it's optional. It's a possibility, but it's there for you to take. OK, uh, should you have any question regarding how this works? Just write it again as a comment or write me. Um, so you select your question, you write it so that nobody else can take it. Then you uh, answer it as best as you can. Try to be as reflexive as possible. Show me your reflection. Show me what you know. Yes, venture, make mistakes. Um, if, if you are not very sure, indicate why you are not sure indicate me that process on or, or on how firm you feel do not just tell it is this because yes no justify work show me that process of thinking that you actually are pursuing and that you are putting forth yes so this goes for individual extra credit here we go with the only select one of the questions whichever it is that you want um and they're very interesting questions has government improved throughout Mexican history? Number two, which has been the role of women in the political arena? Strong one. Since when is there corruption and why? Number four, which was the president that has brought the most benefits to Mexico? In there, actually, if at any time in class you want to present one of these questions because none of your classmates answer it, I would really love that we discuss many of these questions because they're beautiful. They're beautiful questions that we, we have to venture out about our country. Uh, what was the best year of all? What is Mexico's worst tragedy? Uh, what were the facts that contributed to create the, sorry, the, the, the factors that contributed to create the country? Uh, then, what event marked or defined Mexico for nowadays? Yes, is there one defining an event that, that then defines Mexico modern, modernity? Since when everything went down and why? And uh, I love this question. I actually love this question. I put some extra credit to the person that made it. Is the inequity of our country really worth its development? That's, I think it's a very insightful question. Yes, and I think that is something somebody can actually treat very, very well. Then, um, when did the Mexican currency drop its value? Why was it decided to put Frida and Diego on the 500 bill? What would they think of not being there anymore? This is a hypothetical question, but always imagination is welcome on, on to having this. It's not properly history, to, to, just to be clear, but uh, it, it always invites the imagination, yes? So that's something we, we also want to do. Uh, again, one similar question to that. What would have happened if Spaniards hadn't arrived? Um, again, imagination, yes? Uh, how was Mexico involved in the Cold War? This actually deals with many different stages, many different decades. That's why it was not put into a specific period. What if all companies weren't expropriated? Oh, I have a very good answer to that one. Then what was the Moralista movement? Actually covers also many decades and many different feelings. 
When did dance become important? That has to do with, um, give me two minutes, okay? Uh, when did dance become important? Uh, and in the same, when did the fascination for the film industry begin? Also very, very uh, great questions that we have around uh, that we can pass around, okay? So those are the options. I hope uh, you, you deem them important. You, you put a little bit of your curiosity to them and that you can exploit this possibility for our class. So I will see you around. Uh, I hope you can, again, profit uh, from this. It, this is, of course, in your best benefit. Whatever you can get for this, well, it's extra. It's apart from whatever you're wondering can obtain to you. And that's what I would really like you to take, that you're wondering is a really most wonderful thing that you can use uh, for a class like this. Okay?